Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop Design Series. In today's video, we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can adjust the lighting levels inside of our scene using an adjustment layer. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you take a quick look at my scene here, you can see I've got this little background, um, I've got this wood table and then you've got some paper on it and then you've also got this little painting on it as well. Now if you take a quick look at this, you can actually see the blacks are quite rich, the whites are quite bright and there's a lot of depth and it really pops and this is all done through the use of a levels adjustment layer so let me turn this adjustment layer off and you'll see exactly what I mean so if I turn that off you can see it's very whitewashed it's very it's very dull there's not that much depth and that's pretty much exactly what we're going to be doing lighting can do so much inside of your scene in Photoshop and we're going to be showing you how to use these adjustment layers to bring it to life so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete this levels layer and I'm going to start with this basic image. Now this image can be anything you like, um, something like this that's quite whitewashed is a great example to show you because you can really see it to come to life and you can really see the difference on the histogram. So the levels layer is over here, so if you go to adjustments and then levels, if you click that it will create the layer. Alternatively, if you go to uh, adjustments and then just add levels at the top left there, you can do that. Um, so just go ahead and open that up and then from here you can see you get your little dialog box for your levels. Now you can do everything in here or you can just create the adjustment layer up here and then you get the little panel on the side. Now there's a lot of information inside of this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down that way I can see all the information that I need inside of here. Now, starting off from the top, I'm going to go over a few things. So first thing first, you've got this little window here, which is basically a histogram. So basically it's showing you the lighting inside of your scene where it is ranging from blacks on the left hand side to whites on the right hand side going between zero and 255. So 255 is the whitest and the lightest value and zero is going to be the darks, the blacks um, and then you sort of got your middle point in here as well. And pretty much you can see here at the top, big, at the top, uh, at the top end of things, you can see there's not much like vibrance. So you can see that sort of reflected here. There's nothing like white light. There's no highlights in the scene, and you can see it here. So really, things start over here, which is kind of light, but not too light. And then the blacks, there's not too many deep blacks at the moment. So what we can do is we can actually adjust this to adjust the starting point of our blacks and the starting point of our whites. So let me go ahead and show you that. So you've got these three little notches here on your on your histogram. So like I said, you've got your starting point on the left here and you can actually adjust this to change where the blacks start and you can also adjust the one on the right to adjust where the whites start. And you can see things really start to change when you go and adjust this. Now, probably the easiest way to do this without whitewashing your scene or overloading it or going overkill or anything like that is to take a look at your histogram. Now, you don't really want to be putting the whites all the way to the center because it just doesn't look great. Instead, focus on where the whites start realistically and then just go ahead and adjust things according to that. So you can see there's no white here in the bottom, in the right hand side of our histogram. So simply move it over to the left to the point where it starts keeping an eye on your whites, making sure they don't look too bad. Um, so if you move it away over too far, it looks a little bit odd, it doesn't look realistic and it starts to glow. So just play around with that. So for me, I'm going to have it about here. Now, one other way of previewing this before you do go and make any, any changes, if you hold down the Alt key and then drag it, you can see all of the stuff that's going to start getting exposed as you move it. Now, ignore all the different colors and stuff. This is just showing you the different exposure levels, but this is just a little preview. And if you let go of that, you can see it goes to here. It's just to show you which bits are going to get lighter and which ones aren't uh, without all the color and all that annoying stuff. But for me, I like to do it just normally without the little preview mode. But if you do want to use the preview mode, just hold down Alt and you can do that. Um, and it's the same with the blacks as well. So I'm going to move my white over here. That looks quite nice. They're quite bright. I'm going to keep adjusting so I'm going to have it around there. And then for the blacks, if you hold down the black and press Alt, it will also tell you which bits are going to become black. And you won't really see it come to life until you move along there. But there you are. So for me, you can see the blacks don't really start until a little bit later on. And for me, that value is going to be about 20. So I'm going to adjust that over there. And you can see the blacks start to become that much blacker. And it really gives the scene a little bit of extra depth. 
So let me show you now. So I'm going to show you the difference between the levels and without it. So if I turn it off, you can see it's quite dull, it's quite whitewashed. Whereas if I turn it on, it really brings it to life and it's really quite nice. Now you've got one other control that you might want to play around with. Now that is pretty much the middle point. So this middle point allows you to control if the image is going to be favoring uh, the darks or the whites. So let me show you that exactly. So if I change this value to something like 0 0.6, it's going to be going more towards the black. So it's going to be a little bit darker, there's going to be less light basically. If I set this to something like 0.3, it's going to be even further away from the blacks. Or if I set it to 0, there's not going to be any light at all. So it's just pretty much getting rid of a light. So on the spectrum, if it's further away from the black point over here, basically what that's saying is it's going to allow in lots of dark, but then there's not going to be much light left for it, if that makes sense. So what I need to do, really, I like to keep the middle point in around the middle, but if you want to make it glow, make it a little bit lighter, you can do it just by moving the light point over, or you can make it darker. But generally, I like to keep this to about one or as close to the normal value as possible. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for the levels. I'm going to try this on one more image now. So I've got this other image of me and I'm going to try and make it pop a little bit more. You can see right now it does look quite nice, besides it being really low resolution. So I'm going to quickly delete this levels layer. I'm going to go to adjustments, levels, and then from here you can see once again things don't start until over here. So I'm going to move my little slider across and it's going to brighten up the brights and it's going to really bring it to life. And as for the darks, you can see at the moment, it's quite whitewashed in the background. It doesn't look too dark, so I'm going to add a bit of depth. So I'm going to drag it over to where it does start, and you can see it does look quite nice. Now, if I wanted to, I can move the midpoint to make it lighter or darker. But for me, I'm going to leave it a dead on one because that looks good to me. Turn the levels off and turn it on, you can see there's a massive difference, it looks really great. So anyway guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over for levels. Play around with it, enjoy yourselves, there's so much that lighting can do inside of Photoshop, it's possibly one of the most important parts of an image is getting the lighting correct. So enjoy it, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertus, signing out.